Hello Aries, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So Aries, I wish you a happy new year. I'm doing these on New Year's Eve. So let's see what we have for you for the week. So angels, what is the message for Aries, please? Message for Aries. Thank you. Okay, so you're being told to trust. This is trust in God, the universe, the divine. can also be about trusting in your own light, what your intuition is telling you now, because our intuition is how angel spirits guides God, the universe guides us. So it might be something instinctive that you feel that you want to do or you need to take action on, but it can also be a card of trust that you're being watched over. Love the energy. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. First card, we have the hanged man. Your current situation. Second card, the challenge is the eight of cups. The Hermit, I mean, this is a wonderful energy of illumination as well from Source. So we have the Hermit and your outcome Aries, we have Judgment. Okay. Let's straighten these up for you. Hopefully you can see that. So can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the reading, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Aries. 4th to the 10th of January 2021. Okay, so we have, you know, I mean, look at that, you know, we've got the Hierophant, the representation of God, the divine, the universe. Uh, with the hanged man, which is very beautiful energy indeed. So we have the eight of cups and that is with the king of wands, which can be you. Sometimes it's Leo for me as a reader, but can be Aries or Sagittarius too, if it's a person or the energy of. The hermit card is clarified with <laughs> the wheel of fortune, Aries. Wow. And judgment is clarifying this five of pentacles bottom of the deck look at this we've got the six of wands oh my goodness it's giving me goose pimples this reading already okay <laughs> um this is absolutely beautiful you are absolutely being told to trust you're being watched over you're being guided if there's anything that you instinctively feel you need to do this is about trusting your intuition uh, but there's energy of, uh, certainly with the Hermit, it's, it's a card of sound judgment calls as well. I mean, there is something to do with, you're being guided here, Aries. It feels very beautiful because the Hanged Man is a card of, when we feel in limbo, we experience the Hanged Man if situations in our life change. For example, it can be health situations that affect, could be our money and career, could be our health, a health situation that brings your life to a standstill. It could be to do with your money and career, changes in your money and career, maybe make you feel in a period of limbo. It can be to do with changes in relationship. You know, it's this kind of energy where we feel in limbo, we feel a little bit stuck, stuck in some kind of like time warp. And the Hierophant is have faith. You're being watched over. Trust in the universe, God the divine. Can sometimes represent a holy person, a spiritual person who is giving you advice, who has your back, who is guiding you as well. Um, but it's an energy if things haven't played out quite well, quite yet. Um, in your current situation, there is an energy of, of waiting a little bit, but the illumination the new perspective, the way forward is coming. So there's definitely an energy here of just wait for something to play out here.
I'm going to clarify this King of Wands. Let's clarify this King of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, it definitely feels like that energy. I mean, the King of Wands could be somebody in your life, you know, as a challenge position. Um, but it, it, it doesn't feel like that kind of energy. It feels more like you, Aries, this, this King of Wands. Because the, the Eight of Cups is somebody who turns their back on disappointment, who turns their back on things they no longer need to be concerned with anymore, things that haven't been, haven't been quite fulfilling enough. Um, can be about disappointment, can be about moving on from a situation that didn't leave up, live up to expectation or promise. And it's almost kind of like you want to move on. There's definitely an energy of I just want to move forward. I want to move on. In the Eight of Cups, this person is moving towards the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. Their hopes, dreams and wishes coming true, getting their heart's desire in whatever context. Uh, that could be in love, that could be in terms of, of, of business, career, job, money. Um, even health, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things. It's just, this is what I really want. And I want to just turn my back in this situation of a feeling in limbo, a feeling disappointed and moving on to something better. And it feels like this is you, the King of Wands, because it's a card of, of, of it's interesting, I'm getting grand visions, uh, which he is. I mean, he is the grand vision energy because he's ambitious, he's driven, he's He's somebody who takes action, who's in his power, who's a natural born leader, takes the lead, um, is courageous. So it feels very much kind of like warrior energy, going for a vision that you really want now, having a goal that you've set your sights on. And the Eight of Wands is a card of shifts, opportunity, uh, progress, movement. But in this challenge position, it feels like you're waiting for something to happen. It could be that you're waiting for, I mean, this is sometimes online communication or distance communication. So it can be to do with distance, can be to do with um, a conversation leading to something solid for me as a reader, can be to do with opportunity or things shifting from out the blue. You just want things to move forward. You just want that change, that shift. And that's definitely what I'm getting here. The advice from spirit is, Okay, so the Hermit is, this is about finding illumination from within. Uh, the Hermit card is about in deep introspection, can be a card of healing. Healing maybe from disappointment, finding the way forward, getting in a direction on how you need to move forward in your external environment. It's a card of, of sound judgment calls. Um, it's a card of, of aligning to where you need to be. So I'm also feeling with this hanged man energy, Aries as well. There is a kind of energy of you might be waiting for something, but it might also be that you need to look at something from a different perspective as well. It could be, for example, and I, I, I'm only giving this as an example, it can be in whatever life situation this applies to you for. For example, if it's to do with money and career in a certain industry isn't open to you, isn't recruiting, isn't progressing, um, it might well be transferring those skills and experience to another industry that there is progress, that is hiring. You know, it's, it's that kind of, of lateral thinking of open your, opening your mind, considering even unconsidered possibilities, untapped resources, untapped networking people that you may have not spoken to in order to bring some kind of, of shift in your circumstances. So again, there's a feeling of... of trying to look at things in a different way, maybe for some of you as well, because this is the illumination that comes from within on how you need to take action. Um, introspection. And it's bringing this shifts in your external environment. So the, the wheel of fortune is, is good luck, good fortune. So it feels like whatever judgment calls you're making, again, the illumination, that you're getting with this Hermit card is telling you how you need to take action to bring the shift. So it feels like how you need to deal with the situation 
maybe looking at something in a different way or opening your mind to all possibilities that can be the situation as well because the wheel of fortune is the shift it is the turning point it is good news good luck it is good luck good fortune expansion growth prosperity it's very good in terms of money and career but it's also very good in terms of, of progress in terms of expansion in terms of the universe wanting to bring gifts reward coming your way but it's by the actions that you take the the, the wheel of fortune works in response to what we put into something it's the, the karmic reward that we get back. You know, it's that kind of, of, of energy from the universe. So it feels in this situation, good fortune, good luck is coming your way. Um, you're, you are aligning to the path that you need to be on in whatever aspect, whether you're waiting for something to happen, which isn't happening quite enough. For example, you could have interviews, opportunities, and you're just waiting for something to happen. Um, you could have pitched for, for business or, you know, you're waiting for some news that brings a positive shift to your circumstances in whatever life experience. And the message is that you are healing. You are going to get back on track. Uh, things are going to shift in your favour. It's all part of divine timing, divine orchestration, and things don't go any faster than what the divine timing requires. So there is an energy of, of feeling things a little bit beyond your control because the universe is in charge. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. But you are going to be rewarded. I mean, that's the beautiful thing because the Five of Pentacles is a card of... of it can be a card of, sometimes this is associated with financial loss or career loss, job loss, um, or changes in your money, career finances that have made you feel the pinch. I mean, these people feel lack. Um, like I said, I mean, the pentacles can be to do with our home, our property, can also be to do with money, career, can be to do with our health, um, and also foundational relationships. So for some of you, it feels something has made you feel lack here, made you feel um, can sometimes be about out in the cold, can, can also be about asking other people for money. So if you've struggled in terms of money, you might have been asking other people for money, you know, maybe your family or something. Um, because the judgment card is, is a card of karma. It feels in this situation, Aries, something is going to happen here and it could be something that happens quite quickly because it requires you to act quickly. Um, judgment comes when there is, I mean, there's definitely some kind of shift coming your way. And judgment is when you need to make some kind of judgment call or when you need to make some poignant decision about how you move forward. And you're presented with some kind of crossroads, whether you stay on your current path or you move to um, a new path. You know, it feels like that is, something is gonna happen here. There are, there are, there's the trumpet, the call to action. Um, now is the time for you to take action because something is gonna happen. So it could be some news coming into you. It could be an event just happening, you know, that is coming out of the blue. I mean, there's definitely an energy of, of things not happening or shifting in this challenge energy. And then all of a sudden, something is happening here. And it's a karmic energy. So karma is always about righting wrongs. And again, there's definitely an energy of, of karma being in your favour with the Wheel of Fortune as well. So things beginning to go in your favour, obstacles being removed. And with this judgment card, it feels like there is some, the universe is balancing itself out. It's readdressing maybe something that hasn't been fair to you. And it feels in this situation, you have an opportunity to release what's gone and step into your light. But it requires some kind of call to action, maybe a decision or an action on your part. Um, to deal with something that may just come out of the blue here that's requiring you to act quickly. But nevertheless, it's all part of this divine timing, good fortune, good luck, you know? So it, it feels very beautiful because it's bringing in, what it's doing is bringing in a victory. And it's almost kind of like the victory parade here. 
you know, we can see the trumpet here, we can see um, the call to action, but it definitely feels like it's opening and paving the way for this victory. So putting a challenging time behind you, which is this five of pentacles, and aligning to where you need to be, which is what that hermit energy was doing, and it's fire energy, this, this six of wands. It is a card of accomplishment, it's a card of a significant success, a significant achievement that you feel pretty good about. Um, so there is some kind of victory. Something's going to happen here, Aries. I mean, if you were waiting for news or if you were waiting for something to happen or some event to unfold, you know, call it what you will. Um, it feels like it's going to happen and it's going to happen quite quickly. And it means that you're going to have to respond quite quickly. It might be that there is some decision associated with that. But what it is doing is putting you back you know you know with your victory crown um definitely feels like there's some parade celebration could be some kind of i mean this is a card of recognition it feels like the universe is recognition re recognizing you for your efforts as well i mean this is a card of recognition but it also feels like you're being recognized getting the the recognition you deserve or coming through a time that has been challenging like i said in whatever aspect which could be it could be to do with health it could be to do with money career even potentially relationships but for some of you the message remains the same you're going to come through the other side of it with whist with whistles and bells on you know it feels that kind of energy and feel pretty good about it you know i mean this is a reassertion discovering what you're made of it's the victory parade your power so i love the energy here it feels very beautiful Yeah, and, and even bottom of this deck, there's an energy of something good's coming your way. Three of Wands, that ship is beginning to come in. And it feels like that's what that judgment is heralding that time of, the trumpet, the arrival of something. So it feels quite exciting, I have to say. I did get goose pimples at the, at the beginning of the reading. I'm getting them at the end of this reading. So I'm definitely feeling something exciting here. Let's pull you a final card. Final card for Aries, please. Final card for Aries, thank you. Yeah. This is very hermit energy. This is you, you know, you being illuminated from within. This is you being lit up by the universe from within. Um, we have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. And it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. There's definitely an energy of discovering what you're made of here, Aries. But I feel that there is some kind of victory parade here. Something good is coming your way. And it's this, this judgment is heralding some kind of, it feels like positive change. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.